Welcome to episode 4 of All Cultures Are Beautiful. This episode will be travelling to beautiful, scenic Pakistan, the home of the ancient Indus Valley civilization, and things have barely changed since. Recently, the white supremacist Western press has been writing defamatory articles about the beautiful and inclusive and diverse culture of Pakistan. There has been a torrent of misunderstanding from what the white supremacist Western press are crudely referring to as revenge rape. If you're a tolerant fellow like I am, you'll know that this is a misrepresentation. The misunderstanding stems from an incident in July 2017 where a man approached a traditional village council and said that his 12-year-old sister had been raped by their cousin. After hearing about this most heinous crime, the village council ordered him to make amends by raping the sister of the man who had raped his cousin. And in keeping with the beautiful culture of Pakistan, the girl was then forced to appear before the group and was raped in front of them and her parents. Despite the issue being settled to everyone's satisfaction, the mother of the two girls then filed complaints at the local police station. The police, upholding white supremacy in Pakistan, decided to violate the cultural rights of this tribe by arresting 26 members of the village council for ordering the rape of this girl. Please don't be alarmed at the suppression of this beautiful local culture. The Jirgas are a kind of council of local elders who settle disputes in rural Pakistan, and they have often been condemned by the imperialist Western powers for ordering so-called honour killings and past incidents of revenge rape. But don't worry, the tyrannical government of Pakistan will not be able to suppress this beautiful culture forever, as the remarkably high number of revenge rape incidents will attest. Pakistan's beautiful tribal culture really hit the headlines in 2014 after a Pakistani woman called Mukhtar Mai was raped by 14 men. The village council had authorised it because rape is the standard punishment in Pakistan for women and girls who have brought dishonour to their families and communities. Such a beautiful culture. The Jirga ordered 14 volunteers to go to her house and while her family watched, they dragged her out into the street and gang raped her. She was then paraded naked in front of onlookers. It's so diverse. But there's a whimsical twist in this tale. This all stemmed from a lie that her brother Abdul had told. He had said he'd been walking with a girl when in fact he was covering up for the fact that he had been kidnapped and raped by three men. It turns out that Abdul's lie about his own victimhood had caused his sister to be raped as well, sanctioned by the village council. So progressive. But don't worry, my tolerant friends. After 10 years of bitter legal proceedings, Mukhtar's case finally made it to the Supreme Court of Pakistan, and 13 of the 14 men who gang raped her were not in prison. Of course, this isn't the perfect verdict. The cultural expressions of one of those men was enough to make the white supremacist government of Pakistan imprison him, but for most of the victims on trial here, they remain free to practice their culture unmolested. The most beautiful aspect of this story is how it gave life to even more rich, diverse and vibrant culture in Pakistan. Mukhtar Mai even had the opportunity to watch an opera based on her experiences. She described it as very emotional, and after seeing the beautiful performance here, I too can agree. How enriching. If you're thinking, well, what happens to the women who have been raped? I mean, not all of them get an opera. I can put your mind at ease. Some of them simply commit suicide. Others set themselves on fire to commit suicide. And there was one incident where a girl of 13 beheaded her rapist's five-year-old son as revenge. So it all worked out in the end. But don't worry, not all of these women get away scot-free. Some of them are punished under Pakistan's strict orthodox Islamic laws, charged with fornication outside of marriage and sentenced to 100 lashes and sent to jail. Now you might be thinking, hang on, that's not quite Islamic enough. I have read the Quran. I am a modern, forward-thinking, well-traveled, progressive person. I know that these women are actually criminals and that they should be dealt with as the Quran states, 
And to you I say, fear not. Pakistan is culturally Islamic, and these dreaded adulterers are of course, stoned to death. Truly, along with the beautiful scenery, Pakistan contains some of the most vibrant, diverse and progressive cultures on the face of the planet.